Well, the next couple episodes might have a little bit of a different feel, guys. Obviously, with such a large group like this, it is a bit difficult to film sometimes. And obviously, it's also a lot easier to go and socialize. Uh, so let us know what you think. We're still going to show you all of the good stuff from Dirk Hartog Island. Drop your feedback in the comments below. Well, that was a successful crossing of the barge this morning. Uh, Mike got bogged over the other side getting onto the barge. Now, obviously, uh, we didn't have any cameras recording that. I'll see if anybody got any photos, but it's probably not likely. Um, and that was just put down to the tire pressure issue. But for us, we had our tires on the card at about uh, 13 and 15, and the trailer was at uh, 13 as well. And yeah, had no issues getting on, no issues getting off, and that's what you want. If you are thinking of coming over to Dirk Hartog, um, make sure that you're, and you want to bring a trailer, make sure your car and trailer do not exceed 10.6 metres. Otherwise, you won't fit on the barge. So, as you would have seen with ours, we only just fit. Um, and so, yeah, just something to consider uh, if you're gonna come and make the trip or you're looking to make the trip. Anyway, uh, we're on the track to the homestead now. We just started out, so we'll see how it goes. And uh, yeah, hopefully we get the homestead in good time and we can get uh, camp and everything set up nice and uh, easily without any hassles. spots on the island and now it's time to head to the uh, long table lunch so we're over here as part of the island life um, like uh, tour tour or timing the island life festival so yeah lunch was provided for us today by the team here at Dirk Island, island and it's a six course lunch it's gonna be an absolute feast I'll just duck back, grab the cameras, and uh, we'll head up there and go, go and show you what it's like. So it's going to be a good afternoon, lots of laughs and entertainment. Probably not going to be a whole, whole heap that I'll show on video, but it uh, should be a lot of fun nonetheless. Good morning, everybody. Well, what a day yesterday. <clears throat> that Island Life Festival, the long lunch, just gorgeous, amazing. Uh, learned so much about the island, its rich history, um, 
yeah, it was really, really well put together. It was awesome to be involved, and I would encourage every single one of you to uh, have a look at doing it at some point in time because it was very, very worthwhile. <clears throat> anyway, uh, I'm up early this morning. Uh, I'm going on fishing charter. Now, I know some of you said you've never seen me catch a fish. I do catch fish. I just don't do it when the camera's on. Anyway, so let's try and catch some fish today. Maybe get one or two on camera. And uh, yeah, that's the plan for the day. Shark Bay is renowned as some of the best fishing in, I guess, probably Australia, certainly in the West Coast, WA. So uh, let's go see what it's all about. The other reason for going on the fishing charter is that the skipper knows exactly where the fish are. He can put a straight on them and we can catch some good fish, especially as we don't have a whole heap of time on the island. We also want to go exploring, snorkeling, etc. Uh, it was just made a lot of sense just to go straight on a fishing charter for the day. Well, to say the fishing trip was successful would be a complete understatement. We actually bagged out by about one o'clock and that gave us a bit of time to duck back and do all the filleting. Well, the sea conditions were pretty terrible and obviously after having to fillet 30 fish with only five people as well, we were all stuffed. So I didn't do any more filming today. So let's just pick up from tomorrow. Well, good morning everybody. Welcome to another lovely day on Dirk Hartog Island. Um, now, as you would have seen, I didn't get to film a lot yesterday. Uh, I was on the fishing charter with Garth from Makatak, um, and it's his wishes that we don't use any GPS devices on board. So unfortunately that included um, cameras, mobile phones, watches, all of that, uh, because he obviously has some um, shit hot fishing spots out there um, and he honestly put us on the fish straight away my first drop of the day was a 67 centimeter pinky first fish on board the boat and that really set the tune for the day it was ugly as out there but the fishing was awesome so um, yeah didn't get to film a great deal yesterday um, and that just is what it is so i um, not going to get upset or anything about that but uh Today we're going to head south and we're going to go and check out the blowholes, surf point, uh, we'll show you Cape uh, Ransomet and that's also where we're going to try and do a little bit of fishing, um, just off the little rocky cliff and rocky point there. So yeah, we'll see what the day holds, should be good fun. Radio check over. Yep, we can hear you. Can hear any boats? Well some fun facts about Dirk Hartog Island. The island is about 80 kilometers long from top to bottom and it ranges anywhere from 3 to 15 kilometers in width. Now its actual total size and land mass is 620 square kilometers. Now that is a heap of land and it allows for lots of exploring. So we had a lot to see and do over the next couple of days.
see what these blowholes are doing. Should be good, hopefully. If not, for a good view, nonetheless. If you've made it this far into the episode guys, go down there, smash that subscribe button, enable the bell for notifications on future videos, and give us a thumbs up because you're obviously enjoying it. From Surf Point it was only a short hop, skip and a jump over to Cape Ransomet, which is at the southernmost point of Dirk Hartog Island. It's where the barge landing is and we decided that we would uh, park up here for a bit of time this afternoon and just enjoy the scenery and enjoy a bit of a relax. Just uh, swung around 
from the southeast directly to the south now. It's blowing straight onto the beach. We pretty much um, were ready to go back to camp anyway and the winds just made the decision all the easier for us. So it's half three now. It'll be about a half hour back to camp. So we'll be back there about four. Um, we've got some food in the freezer we've got to pull out to defrost so we'll get that out. And then, um, yeah, we'll uh, see what else the afternoon holds. Caught a nice 36 centimeter flathead down here. We're hoping to grab another one and we would have made a meal out of them. But um, yeah, with just the one, uh, we just thought, well, we would uh, give him back to the ocean and he can live and fight on for another day. So uh, yeah, anyway, back to back to camp we go. We might stick our head in for you down, side, down a few side tracks. We'll just see what takes our fancy. Well, today is gonna be a big day. Uh, we've got an early start to the morning and we're gonna head all the way to Cape Inscription. So that is the very top of Dirk Hartog Island. I'm looking forward to it. We are gonna have a big convoy. Um, I think all the cars are coming, so that could be 14 or 15 of us. 15 if we get a guide, 14 if we don't. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be, we're gonna be out all day. So pack the snorkel gear, we pack lunch, and it's time for us to uh, hit the tracks and go and see what the um, northern half of the island has in stock for us. Well, we had the first victim of the corrugations, as you can see. What happened here is the leading edge bolts that hold the bash plate up came undone. The bash plate came down, contacted the ground, and got folded backwards. Obviously, we had to straighten it out so we could get to the remaining bolts to remove it and clear it so we could keep driving. The east coast of Dirk Hartog Island is simply stunning. It's where you're gonna find all these lovely beaches, bays, and blue water. The west coast is where you find all the cliffs uh, and the really sort of like cliff fishing spots and that sort of thing. So we stopped for lunch here at Whitnall Bay, Whitnall Point, and we had an absolutely spectacular lunch.
from Whitnall Point, we had the final push up to the top of Dirk Hartog Island, which is Cape Inscription. However, on the way, you go past what I think would be one of the most spectacular and beautiful sections of Dirk Hartog Island, and that is Turtle Bay. Uh, so we stopped at the lookout here and just took it all in because it was seriously beautiful. As you can see, we've made it all the way to Cape Inscription. So the very top of Dirk Hartog Island. Very happy to be here. We had a thoroughly enjoyable morning coming up the east side of the island. We stopped in at uh, Sandy Bay for morning tea, stopped in at Whitnall Point for lunch, uh, just came via Dampier's Landing and Turtle Beach, Turtle Cove. Had a uh, look at that area from the lookout and just come across now to uh, Cape Inscription. So you see the lighthouse behind us. We're gonna go around and have a look for the uh, pewter plate. We'll have a look at um, the house and a few of the other things and bits and pieces that are here. Try and capture some of the history and uh, yeah, have a good look around. So let's go have a let's go have a see. to see all 200 plus images that we captured from this trip make sure you jump on our instagram at great off road adventures and check them out from us quite quickly we needed to leave Cape Inscription and start heading back towards camp. We quickly went via the top section of the west coast before crossing the dunes and then heading down the inland track and back towards camp. day was unfortunately made a little bit longer by a couple of mechanicals. We had one car in the group that was overheating and we had another car in the group that sadly did two punctures and we had to leave on the side of the track. 
uh, whilst we organised replacement tyres. Um, unfortunately, as a result, it did mean that we did end up having to do the last sort of 10 or 15 kilometres into camp in the dark. And so once we got to camp, we were pretty shagged after a long day. We just wanted to make a quick and easy dinner and call it a night. So that's what we did. Well, that wraps up episode six, guys. Make sure you come back next fortnight for episode seven and what will be the final installment in this series. You don't want to miss it. You don't want to miss our thoughts on what we thought on the trip. Anyway, you know the deal. Happy, safe adventuring. Stay safe on the tracks and trails. Hopefully one day we'll see you out there. If not, we'll see you in the next video.